What's up, guys? Look, Coffee Bennett here. We made it back to Spy Fox. Woo! -hoo! Uh, yeah. I'm on my old computer because my new. I just, I just got sick of messing with my old computer. So, I mean, new computer. So, hopefully, this works out and doesn't get all desynced and stuff. And I installed like 500 new updates on my new computer, on my, on this computer, so it might work better. Um, so we're finally back with this game. Jeez, after a, a rocky couple weeks there and stupid update videos and a couple stupid videos about Family Feud and who wants to be a millionaire. Sorry about that. Sorry if those are boring. I just wanted to do something. Uh, I'm back. Finally, I'm back. Um, but before we start, let me give some shout-outs to all my new subscribers. I think I have six since my last proper video, which was Lego Island, the last episode. All right, new subscribers, Mark A. Ferguson. Thanks to him, and thanks to the awesome comments he's been posting. He's been posting some pretty lengthy ones, and... Lots of good feedback. Thank you a lot. Uh, let's see. Jedi Noob. Jedi Noob. Jedi Noobs. I don't know. I'm assuming he's Jedi Noob. Thank you. Uh, Joe McCorston. Uh, I saw him post a video of, of you know, I, I, this, this guy I listen to is Frank Turner. He's a, a British singer-songwriter. Blah, blah, blah. I saw him do a cover of one of his songs. He has lots of other random covers of, like, pop songs, rock songs. You should check him out. He's awesome. He subscribed to me. That was really cool. Um, <clears throat> Darth Gat. With a Z, that's a pretty sweet name, thank you. Uh, in Inesti, Inesti, Inesti? I don't know if I'm saying that right, hopefully. And last but certainly not least, Kylo Reborn. Holy crap. G he, if you don't know him, he's a friend of uh, Luca Jin's. Uh, he, I guess, sort of saw me with my little random plug to the Lucathon, and uh, I guess subscribed, which was like, I did not expect that. Thank you so much, man, that is so awesome. Uh, if you don't know him, check him out. Uh, he's an awesome Let's Player right now. He's doing Bayonetta and Metal Gear Solid 2, I believe. And Bayonetta, oh my god, I've never seen that game before, and it is... It is something else, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> oh, it just froze. Sorry, guys, it already it already froze. I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. Alright, let's talk to Professor Quack here. Good morning, Spy Fox. Oh, good, it already froze. I took the liberty of loading the vending machine. Some of my ingenious new spy gadgets. Oh, 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 oh. Take a look at some of them, Spy They may come in handy. All right. So we need the X-ray gum to look inside Mr. Utterly over here. So let's uh <coughs> get that. X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Ah, that's my new and improved beef flavor X-ray. Oh, it's beef flavored gum. That's nice. That's really nice. And the first thing I think of with the with the gum flavor is beef flavored gum. Move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is when you are done. This guy's voice is definitely gum. from Sly Cooper. I don't know which character it is because I haven't played Sly Cooper in a long time, but it definitely is. He just ate the blueprints. That's good for him. Nice Latin music going on in the background. Uh, what else can we get here? Uh, let's get this silly putty crap. What's in this egg-shaped container, Professor Quack? Oh, it's a little gadget I call... This, this game bag. forever taught me how to use silly putty the incorrect way, or gave me a, a, a false reality of silly putty. I thought it copied everything to, like, a perfect piece of paper, like it does in this game. Instead, it just makes really smudgy new paper crap things. I don't know. Yeah. Who the hell does the voice for this guy? He's definitely the. T I think he's the turtle in uh, Sly Cooper. All right, so we got those two things. Um. Excuse me, and I am back. Sorry about that. My mom just got home. Uh, let's look inside this ugly mugs jugs. That was not uh, right. Exactly God, this game keeps. Ugh. Well, that would be opening up a really messy topic of discussion. All right, I'm supposed to just use the gum on him. Here's where I. Gum time. Gum shoes. Now, what the hell does gum shoes mean? I never knew what gum shoes meant. Gum to take a look at those 
sore stomach of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Yes, it is going to hurt. I'm going to stab you with this razor blade that says X-ray on it. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh. Nice jowls, bro. Shrug. L shrug. Professor Quack, your X-ray gun works perfectly. Somehow. There's a bomb! Uh, there's a band-aid on his rib. You know, like... Chili's baby back ribs. I was gonna sing it, but I'm not going to. He's a clock up. Get it, Adam's yeah, apple. It like this is like a really pencil. terrible version of Operation. He has a pencil. His ticker looks like it needs winding. A paper airplane. I a, wrench in me, I wrench. a wrench. That's where you get the sloppy joes from, because I know you kids like them extra sloppy. I found um, hey, there it is. All right, now I need to find out where that punch card is. Then use it to disarm the milky weapon of destruction. Alright, so we have to get the punch guard to destroy William the Kid's milky weapon of destruction. There's steak, there's roast, there's a tape recorder. That punch card, uh, the milky weapon there's a dead child. Uh, no, that's just a fork with spaghetti. Meatloaf. Like the singer, the singer is in. No, let's leave. I'm gonna stop making terrible jokes. Alright, uh. Okay, wake up. Come on, come on. Yeah, man. Uh, what, what else do we need in here? I don't remember which ones we need. Uh, we do need this, I'm pretty sure. Mmm, it looks like a delicious snack. May I eat this, Professor Quack? Okay, that's the cheese and safe cracker kit. Just makes me want to have snack pack, snack pack cheese and crackers with the little red, the little red thing, with the little red stick that was their logo, that was their character. I'm going to... Yeah, whatever. Very scientific and complicated. Trust me when I say it works like a charm. And it tastes great in soup. Wow. I was, I was waiting for the I was waiting for the terrible yeah, joke. This paper isn't half bad. He needs to stop eating paper or is he gonna get poisoned by ink? Um <clears throat> Um, what else do we need? I really don't I can't tell you what we need. Um Well, let's just uh Let's just keep going. Bad. Caviar is made of fish eggs. Otherwise, it would be really good. Wait, what? What? He just says about caviar. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna leave. So I made this really long video of me, like me talking about E3 and everything. It was like 25 minutes long and ridiculous. So I don't know if I'm ever gonna post that, but I talked about. Not just Nintendo, because that's about all I really follow, but I also talked about Sony and Microsoft, which is interesting. Uh, I don't know if you want to hear some random kid, random college kid talking about that crap, but... Alright, let's talk to the weasel. That's quite a nice little toy boat. Nice hovering yeah. eyebrows, sir. What are you, putt-putt? Oh, yes, sir. And that's why I'm standing out here at this podium on He's this totally Tim Burton from Home Alone 2. Talking to a sophisticated wannabe like you. So it's Stolen not so. credit card! Belongs to my boss. Uh, belongs to his boss. Can I go, can I go on? Pardon me, sir, but just where do you think you're going? The SSN. On board. I'm going on the SSN. Uh, you are obviously making Going on the SS Deadweight. No I think it's actually no called the SS Deadweight. It is the SS Deadweight. Deadweight. I remember probably because I've recorded this part like 45 times. And you have one of these, sir? Yep. Not as such. Nope. Then I'm afraid, Maybe. sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. Ouch. All right, that introduces the uh, little fact quotation thing at the bottom. About the deck party I know Spy Fox. I was just I was just telling him about that. Um, so we have the deck party. Uh, jeez, I don't know. If Notice the happy the happy hour hour is is the same. I replayed it that many times so I could get the happy hour hour the same way. Consistency for the win, but I don't have the same. I already explained the two quests. I don't have the same quests as I did last time, which I'm glad. I have the one that I enjoy more. Uh, did, we already did the tattoos. I don't even remember if we did the tattoos. I've recorded this so many times. Uh, hipster bunny with the creepy stains on his beer belly. What's up, dude? Uh, are you gonna go to the deck party? I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the dock. Yeah. But I no. understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. Move That's the glow. I'm going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I 
How the heck did this guy get... He, he looks like one of my friend's dads. Would you like to look at it? Why, yes. I would love to look at it. Giggity. Hey, look, it's an invitation. Let's steal it. But first, let's distract him. You know, Professor Quack could probably use that ship's wheel in one of his inventions. Sir, I would steer clear of giving this sort of thing as a gift. Ha <laughs> ha! That's not funny. That I'm wasn't a joke. A little direction right now. I think I'll buy that steering wheel. Get it? Let me wrap that up for you. And while he's turned around, being all distracted and crap, let's copy his uh, thing for copyright infringement, and let's go to the deck party. Yes! Victorious! I really need to stop stealing Nintendo Capri Sun's jokes. Seriously, man, I just watch way too much. But we just got a fake... See, look what he just did. He basically made another piece of paper from that piece of paper. That's how I thought Silly Putty worked when I was, like, six years old. Or whenever this game came out. Um, so now let's let's get into the deck party and baffle this weasel man. Screeching weasel man. Uh, can I have... Okay, thank you. Read it and weep. Not you Jerk! How many times do I have to tell you? This is a Cue the theme music. Hell yeah. You are not allowed to go on board. Ha ha. What's up, dog? Russian blue. Russian blue. White Russian. We are ever so honored to have you on Yeah, now you now you kiss my ass. Now now that I have an invitation, that's totally the that that's the way it works. Thank you. How gracious of you. What a weasel. Ha ha ha, I get it, because he's actually a weasel. You will have an enjoyable visit. But of course. When I was when I was younger, I always thought "but of course" was a single word. Okay. Now, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Oh, good. Now we have to. Mobile command center. Mobile command center. Please stand by. Oh, that's what it is. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. How's the mission progressing? Nice '80s hair. I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes. It's always a good luck nickname. The SS Deadweight. Job to know. And we are good at our job. Spy Fox out. Yeah, there, there's so much. There's so <coughs> speaking fail. Uh, there's so many like cutscenes and dialogue parts in this game that I don't want to speak through many of them. So sorry if I'm not like constantly talking. Um, so God, this music sounds really familiar. I feel like it's a part of music in like Putt Putt Travels Through Time, which I will be doing. Um, and this that little thing makes it look like the Titanic. Um. The real person that we're that we're interested in in here is Russian Blue, one of the villains in the game. Hello. What a giveaway! You must be Russian Blue, noted socialite and attractive owner of the ego. Well, yeah. At least she doesn't have an ego. My name's Fox. Looks like I'm the attractive LP of this game. She's the attractor owner of that boat. But there is only one dance on this planet I will dance. The salsa? And that is the tango. I love the tango. Do you know why I love the tango? That funky beat? Because it takes two to tango. Get it, Spy Fox, get it! I've never done Woo! math on that. Damn! Does it take three to tango? Oh, that that Geico commercial. That that new format of Geico commercials where it like kind of looks like the guy who plays Agent Smith in uh, the Matrix, him turning around and saying something that something really ridiculous happened, like the woodchucks or any of that crap. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so we have to get her to tango somehow so we can get her in bed. <coughs> wow, my voice cracked as I said get her in bed. Um, <laughs> I don't know how much time we're at right now. I haven't been paying attention at all, and I frankly don't care at all.